Well, welcome to day number 10 of the Daniel Fast. Congratulations, you've made it to double digits on this. Uh, I've got a little, uh, let's see here, got a little uh, little vegetable stew going here. That's going to be, uh, gonna be our, our dinner tonight. Wanted to uh, mention that we've got the warehouse open right now. Uh, it's about, let's see here. That clock's not working, it's on timer. I think it's about uh, 6.15, 6.20 right now. So we originally had the warehouse open for anyone that wanted to go pray there today until 7 o'clock. We'll leave that open until 9 o'clock tonight. So it give you about three hours left. If you want to go down to the warehouse, uh, we've got some prayer guides there that Rita made up. And you can go through that. You can sit there, there's some Bibles, the AC's on. I don't think we left any lights on though, so you may have to flip the light switch on right as you walk down the left hand side. But uh, it's a comfortable place to go and just get away and uh, go through some of the things that we've been praying about here in the, uh, in the Daniel Fast. I wanted to, uh, to read you a quote. Um, not sure if this ties into necessarily what we're praying about today, but it was something that that I came across today that I thought might fit in to, uh, to what we talked about yesterday a little bit. Uh, the quote is this. I'll try to hold the camera and read at the same time. This should be, should be interesting. Uh, the quote is this. We tend to think God is with us only when everything is working great and all the charts of our life are going up and to the right. We think that our plan B situations are signs that we're not where God wants us to be. We think our suffering is a sign that we're getting something wrong, not evidence that God is at work to teach us and bring us blessings. So I know we talked about that a little bit uh, yesterday, so I don't know who that was for today, but hopefully that was uh, meaningful to somebody. Today we're praying about the, uh, the resources it takes to, uh, to do uh, church and what we feel like God's called us to do. So I know that's an extremely uh, personal thing, so uh, don't want anybody getting mad, but uh, just be praying that your heart is what God's heart is. Uh, what does He want us to give to be able to accomplish what He wants us to, to do here? Because I believe He has at work and he has great things he wants to accomplish through our church, that our best days are still ahead of us. So be encouraged, guys. It's only uh, four more days to go. And uh, as I've mentioned several times in this, the noise is... Yes, that is my constant interruption, my dog. So uh, if you guys want to be at the warehouse, it is open another three hours. We'll shut that down at 9 o'clock. And uh, like I said, I don't think we left any lights on, so... I want to flip those on the left-hand side. The address will be posted below. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to uh, send those over to me. All right, I'm going to enjoy some dinner here in a second. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for day number 11. I've heard a lot of you guys are losing crazy weight, so uh, don't lose too much weight because anytime someone loses it, somewhere else in the world, someone has to gain it. But the world's equilibrium gets... Maybe not. All right, guys, see you.